again in Psalm 119, which is a psalm that expresses the value of God's word, of knowing God's word, of following God's word, of spending time in God's word, of reading and listening and interacting with God's word. The psalmist writes this, speaking of God, you are good and do good. Teach me your statutes. And a statute in the way that the Bible uses it is a law or decree made by a sovereign. And in this case, that sovereign is God. A statute as we typically use it today is a law or decree made by a governing body, like a legislature. But in the Bible, it was made by or issued by a sovereign. And we might resist that idea that there is somebody above us who just lays down the law for us, except for what the first part of that verse says. You are good and do good. When we trust in the fact that God is good and that he does good, that goodness is his character and good issues out of that character. He can't do evil because his character is good. It's a, the essence of his very nature. When we trust that that is true, then we can also trust that his statutes, that these laws that he has set down for us, these principles that he has given us are good for us because they come from the hand of the one who is good. And in fact, the only one who is good and the one who consistently does good and doesn't just do good for himself. He does what is good for us. And we'll find that as we follow his word, as we follow those statutes that he has given to us, as we follow the principles in his word, that good will be what we experience. We'll find that God's ways really are the best ways. And how do we know this one who is good and does good? We know him through his word. We know him as we spend time learning about him. This is how he's revealed himself to us. And in the person of Jesus Christ, and how do we find out about the person of Jesus Christ? Through his word. As we read in the gospels and we see Jesus teaching, we see what he did, how he interacted with people. We are convinced of the goodness of his character. And then when we are going through difficult times, times where we might question that God is good and does good, the Holy Spirit can take the word as we've spent time in it and he can apply it to our lives. He can remind us of the good things that God did in here, but also the good things that he has done in our own lives. So I would encourage you today Spend some time getting to know the one who is good and who does good.